Roberta. And this is this is my own idea. Um, I took this, got this item from Amazon and adapted it because my car has two moon roofs and this is what really excited me about it. And I wanted to be able to put uh, like a mesh insect protection over the moon roof. Um, but it occurred to me that that would prevent me from standing up and putting my head through unless the, the cover was also domed. So I got this cat play pen, which is a pop-up, opens very easily. And I cut a hole out of the bottom and lined that with uh, outdoor duct tape to keep it from tearing. And I, it fits perfectly between the arms of the roof rack. I just like slide it in there and it sits up there. I can close the moon roof with it sitting up there. Uh, if it starts to rain, I don't have to take this off. It's just great. And I can stick my head out if somebody wants to talk to me without actually going to the door. <laughs> I love obviously when you're driving. Yes. Yeah, yeah I, wouldn't, I wouldn't dare try to drive right. with it on. It how, do, how, do you put, how do you put it so it doesn't fly away? Well, these ends fit um, under the, so like these, these are the sides of the car. And these the fit perfectly rack. under the arms of the roof rack. Oh. And I've also got magnets if I want to like be a perfectionist about closing any oh, gaps. Okay. okay. So, but I haven't even used the magnets this trip. It's been fine. No bugs. I'm Linda, and I think it was when you were with Grandma in Colorado. We talked about the cooling blanket. This is so nice. This side keeps you cool. This other side keeps you warm. Mm -hmm. Amazon. Microfiber towel. This is a full-size towel. Takes up that much space. Wow. Dries quickly. Mm -hmm. And my win uh -huh. window vent. I'm Peggy. And this is for people that haven't done a lot of fire starting. You just take a toilet paper roll, stuff it with dryer lint, and drop candle wax on it. You like this? It lasts a long time to get your fire going. Beautiful. Wow. Going on fire. When you want to roast your marshmallows or have a little campfire, but you don't really want to build one, No. This, What's in there? this is just a empty paint can. You fill it with, um, I've got six rolls of cheap dollar store toilet paper. Take out the middle, squish three in the bottom, three in the top, pour in alcohol, huh. rubbing alcohol. And so, and then, and the outside does not get hot at all. Wow. Plenty long enough to sit there and, and get warm and have your marshmallows. Beautiful. And, and, and you don't have to build a fire. And, <laughs> and so you just put it out. You just Yay. put that on. And, you know, obviously. Wait for it to cool down. Wait for it to cool down and then put the cover on tight and you just, you know, use the can opener to open it up. Did when you have you... to clean out all the paint and no, this no. is an empty paint can, period. People you buy them at the hardware, at the hardware oh, store okay. as a empty, ca empty paint can. And I've seen them <coughs> use smaller ones, like a quart, if you just wanted, you know, I've never put it inside the van. I saw oh, yeah. a video with somebody starting it in the van, it's like, oh, no. no. <laughs> but to be outside and just have a little campfire without finding wood and, mm -hmm. and so forth. I love it. Um, it runs off of butane and it has a cartridge that goes in the top and you it clicks to light uh -huh. and it's 12 hours of bug free. Now is that something you can use in your van or is that outdoor? I use it in my van. I don't know if you're supposed to but I do. All right and do you know the brand name of that? Because people... Thermocell. Thermocell. Great. And where do you find those? Are they Walmart? Local? Walmart. Amazon. All right. Does it just repel them or kill them? Repel them. 
did because I'm in my car. Things. I don't have everything, but I love all things collapsible. Mm -hmm. So this is one of my favorite things. Uh, and I've used it, of course, as a strainer, as it's designed, but it's usually just filled with fruit. And when I had my RV, it sat there full of fruit until I needed it and then, and, you know, used it. And then it just goes back down and stores. Beautiful. I'm Deborah. Deborah. And I have a tip for your shoes. Oh, good. I watched a YouTube video the other day that said that if you don't like to wear no-show so, no socks and you don't like to wear socks, to take your insole out and put the insole inside your sock. Oh, my gosh. And then you Light can, bulb. <laughs> then you can take your sock off your insole every day and wash it. Wow. And that eliminates your stinky foot problem with your slip-on shoes or whatever. They don't get all soggy and icky all in. Yeah. And I don't... Now... The YouTube video had the sock on wrong side out, but I didn't like the way that felt, so I put it on the same side that I would feel on the inside of my foot. So it's actually inside out on the sole. I'm Lee. Um, I did Revolutionary War reacting, and I lived in tents and weekends. And what we used to do, like in the morning, if it's a little, um, or a night when you're getting your pajamas on in your car, we'd take a, a large coffee can with a three wick candle in it. And if you put it in there while the sun is still out and your car is warm, that candle will keep your car warm for quite a while. Without lighting it? With, you? No, you light it. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. you, but getting it warm? You, you, your car is warm from the sun, mm -hmm. and then um, the candle keeps the heat in because you're, the, it makes it warmer. Oh, I see. It reta helps to retain the heat. Retain it, yes. Okay. Yeah. Thank yeah. you. That's good. Did you have a show and tell? Yes. So I'm Susan, and everyone's been telling me about issues with the mice eating your wires and everything. I am allergic to most um, chemicals, so I have to do everything non-toxic. So on um, one of the other uh, sites, Amanda, Adventuring with Amanda, she uses the Grandpa Gus's potent mouse repellent. Grandpa Gus, if you couldn't hear it back there. Grandpa Gus, yes. And all it is is peppermint oil and cinnamon oil, so it's non-toxic for us. And she says this has worked the best for her, so I bought some. Spray, she sprays around the car, underneath the car, and then she opens the hood and sprays in, in the uh, where the motor is in the compartment. And she'll leave her hood up, but she's out west too, so there's a lot more issues. I've never had that issue here in Florida, but. Mine's not very nice for some people's, but um, we're going to get personal on this one. So, you know, if we use uh, toilets where we're putting bags in and we're. We need, if we happen to have to do number two, if we happen to poop in the in the bag and we don't have any place where we can put it because we're out in the middle of nowhere or whatever and the smell, you know, I found a use for the Amazon delivery bags. If you put the bag in here of, you know, of your waist yeah. and stick it in here and fold it over, it really, it just doesn't smell anymore. It's insulated. It insulates it. Mm -hmm. So um, not fancy, oh, but you know, and, and you get to do something with it. Yeah. And along with that, I know everybody, a lot of people use the pellets and all that other kind of stuff. I found this, this is a, it's called poo powder. Um, originally what I had was a big old jar, which takes up a lot of room and we all want, you know, the room, to eat. we need the room. So these come in individual packets and they come like this, all in a nice little flat thing. So I think there was 10 in here. So you can actually go out for 10 days with just this little teeny tiny thing that can fit almost anywhere. Mm. And this stuff works great. It just, you pour it on your, yeah, you put it, well, you put it on top of it. I don't, oh, top, yeah, I think maybe you can put it on the bottom okay. first. I'm not sure. And it turns everything liquid into a gel. But this is a, an enamel teapot. And what I use it for is... Um, I fill it with water. I, I have my own water jug with the, you know, with the little thing that you push. It, what do you call spigot. that? Yeah, the, a spigot. Um, but it's, you know, rather than sit there with a spigot trying to figure it out, I put the water in here and then 
I can wash my hands. I can fill up my. Uh, I can, you know, I, I can use it for everything, mm -hmm. and it's so much more convenient because I can do this with That's it. A great idea. Yeah. So it's just enamel, though. I mean, I don't. I don't think I would trust like a ceramic thing or anything like that. Something that would. Something that would, would break. break. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I got this in Prague in the Czech Republic, so I don't know. Which is this not my invention, obviously. But, you know, we all use uh, Dr. Bonner's, is that what it's called? Mm -hmm. um, and because we want the biodegradable. This is um, just what it's called Nine Elements. I bought it at Target. They have a ton of different products. They have hand soap, they have uh, dishwashing soap that's actual liquid, like, um, you know, that you do. But this one is when you spray it out it's a foam so I literally just spray it on my dishes let it sit there for a second and then take a wet cloth and wipe it off and it works like magic because and I love it because it's not bad for the environment so if I need to dump that in the grass or whatever I don't feel guilty about putting yes. chemicals in the environment and that's very nice. Flavor that we yeah. like the no it's really that's yeah I was no it was it's really nice as long as I you know I just of use course. a wet cloth and it just and I love the it's bottle. amazing I yeah I got a show and tell so it's yes. your name again I'm Tracy Hedrick and my show and tells I lose my keys all the time and uh, my little doggy before has locked me out of my car mm -hmm. and I've had yes. to pay like $50 to mm -hmm. call somebody to come and lock the door so I got one key and put it on from Walmart and I hook it onto the inside of my shirt I keep my other keys in the car or in my purse on me, but that's my extra. And then my sister's my traveling companion today, so she's got an extra key too. Because that's awesome. Yep. Good and day. another doggy that's trip. Just like for the hotel. Right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> another oh. doggy tip was, uh, you know, the tags on our dogs' collars. Uh, you ever seen the little stickers that people use for like yard sales? Uh, if you're at a campsite, get one of the little stickers and stick it on their dog tag. That way, if they get lost in the campground, it's got two tags. You'll be notified because your phone number, yeah. but they'll know what site to go to. So you can fit oh, the site number. Excellent. Uh, go to the Dollar Tree and just get a little paintbrush and get baby powder. You know how we're all wiping our feet off because they're wet? But if you'll put baby powder on your feet and just wipe it off, with the paintbrush, it's a whole lot better than oh. trying to dry your feet. Nice. That's a good tip. I learned that because I got a lot of kids. I bet. And we'd go yeah, to the beach like trying that. to get everybody in and out of the car. Yes. It's like, give me your feet. <laughs> and it. we would powder their feet and brush Does their it feet take off. take the sand off too? It'll get yeah. the sand off, oh, yeah. Wow. Yeah, yeah that's, it would dry it all off It'll, so it does come off. Yes. How that nice. nice. I use this in my van, although I have um, the screens on. It's a USB charged bug zapper and it's a light it's a blue light that comes on and so any bugs that do get in get zapped it works but it even in the directions obviously don't put it in front of a fan because the fan blows all the bugs away from this oh so and then you just twist it and oh there's a dead bug in it but well, good. and then the dead bugs fall in here you empty it out and you put it back on and and I was I bought it because it was on double triple sale, mm -hmm. and I said, well, if it works good, and if it doesn't, fine. Well, it works. Dang. It really does work. And uh, it's Protocol is the maker. Protocol. And I'm sure you could get it on Amazon. Um, I got it. Who knows where? But um, yeah, it's called Protocol, and it has a blue light, like I said, mm -hmm. and then this it has a humming sound you know but it doesn't go zee, zee, when you're oh. killing bugs like that it's just a humming sound and then they just drop into the bottom basket so cool. i really am happy with this purchase i didn't really expect it to work and it works really well um because you know there are some bugs that get through you know and so it's great nice excellent do you have another thing for us? Well, does anybody know about these little mosquito repellent coils? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes, when I was a child. Yes. Yeah. And they're still for sale. There's, yeah. I think, uh, I want to say the word 10 in the box. Might have been five. But anyway, uh, it has its own stand inside this package. It's only three ninety nine for, we'll go with five, but... <clears throat> Something tells me it was 10. 
because um, I didn't bring the box. And you just open it up and you light one end of it and it does say um, how long it lasts, but it, it lasts for a long, long time. And it just burns. It doesn't burn like a candle. Kind of. It's yeah. it, like an incense. Right. It's a, more like an incense. <coughs> And they work great to have out on your picnic table or something like Not that. Not in your van. Not in the van. No. <coughs> that, this is for in the van. And then that's for out. I'm not, I don't, I'm not very fond of bugs. I'm Shelby again. To re reintroduce myself. And oh, I'm kind of like, I'm like overly aesthetic. I'm sorry. But I mean, we have such a beauty in nature and um, I've always just felt the need to have that same beauty indoors and you know a lot of times things you know in design and utilitarian things they really mimic what we have out in the world and so I like to surround myself with beauty all the time and you can do it inexpensively um, this first item is something that um, has been really helpful for me I'm kind of a couch potato which in a van means bed potato so I, like to have, <laughs> I like to have like a hot cocoa at night, watch a movie or stay in bed and open up the back of the van and have my coffee. This um, tray is super heavy. It's, it's made out of wood. They make them lacquer. They make it all different material um, and they're on Amazon. They're not expensive. And the thing about them is they don't slide on the bed when you're driving or anything. They've got some weight and nothing is going to tip over in it. I mean, it's, and if heaven forbid if it did you see how deep they are yeah so i that's what i i don't have to get any of those like weird things or have a table i don't have room for a table above my bed i don't have one i have some like a cup holder thing that's weird so i can get a lot of stuff i can get like my kindle my mug of coffee you know whatever i want next to me that's great and then um i like um i like good coffee and i didn't want to have another appliance because i don't have a lot of room so I didn't want a Keurig machine or anything like that. And so I learned how to do um, pour over coffee. And these pour over kettles are usually really small. They're individual. This is kind of a, a fancy one because I like pretty things. But they also come in like camping styles that are just, you know, metal. Real simple. Very, very simple. They're not big. You can um, do your coffee. You can do tea. Anytime you need any hot water, um, you're somewhere and you don't have hot water, you can heat, boil some water in here and put it in a basin with some regular water and wash your face. I mean, it's just a great thing to have in your kitchen. And mine's small enough, it actually fits in a drawer. Um, so What's that on top there? That's actually the temperature. Oh, cool. This, um, yeah, and it really wasn't necessary. This one just happened to come with it. But mm -hmm. apparently if you get um, water that's at a rapid boil, for coffee that it can make it um, turn bitter. Oh, so, but so there's a certain temperature that's watch, better. I don't watch my kettle so sometimes it's like, like and what morning. Can you tell us what brand that is? Because people always like to know. Yes, it's called, um, it's the brand is Fellow and um, this is called the Stag Kettle. It also comes with a little induction cup. This is not, this is just one to put on a regular burner, but it comes with like a little induction, you know, if you guys have a Jackery or whatever. Um, with a little platter thing. It's not much bigger and you just stick it on top and it heats it. Mm. Oh wow. Yeah. But that was and I make ramen and stuff with it. Mm -hmm. with that one I have um, an induction cooktop okay. in my van so I just stick it on that and fortunately this type of metal that it is works on induction too. But it could go on gas, it could go on just open flame like you have back there. Yeah. Yeah, if you go on anything, it's strong enough. It's oh, right. stainless steel. Yeah. Oh, stainless steel. And so then just real quick, how you do pour over coffee in case no one has ever done it. It's super easy, super cheap. You can buy your coffee in bulk. At home, I actually have a grinder. Again, I don't want appliances and stuff in the van. So I just buy, um, you know, a small thing of ground coffee and um, keep it in the refrigerator. It lasts longer. Anyway, you take any travel mug, you know, whatever you drink out of. And then this is what's called the dripper. And the reason I like this, as opposed to like a French press and a lot of other things, those get really messy and we were just talking about having to clean and do dishes and things like that. Like who wants all those coffee grinds? Imagine with the, with the spray, like trying to get them all out every morning. So this is just an inexpensive um, paper filter. I couldn't find my filters this morning, so I used a paper towel and it worked fine. Um, and it has these like grooves in it, I guess that helps it to kind of infuse, I don't know. This is just rubber. Again, they, they even have them um, at the grocery store. I think Melita makes them, that they're just all plastic and they have a plastic rim. So they just fit right on top. You put your filter and then you just scoop your grinds in. And then real quick, you can watch on YouTube the way to make a pour over. 
<laughs> I'm not a barista, but I'll show everybody. Um, what you do is you first make a bloom. So I don't have any grinds in here, but you just put enough in to make it wet. And then you just go do something for 60 seconds. And that apparently releases the bitterness, some sort of gas or something that's in there. I really hey guys. Hello. Guys. Again, I'm Isabella. Um, I'm a newbie here, and I just got very simple things. So I'm in my mom's house, and she had this treasure. So this treasure, you fill it up with water, you press the button, it airs up, and you spray your face, and you get cool, you turn it off, and you carry it with you. Just yeah. two little batteries. It's good for your skin. Mm -hmm. I love it. That is a good point. <laughs> so, and then last night, this is a dollar store basket. And last night, I was like putting things over here, couldn't find and put over there. And then I saw my empty basket. I said, This is it. I put everything in here. So, That's I so need cute. anything. My little thing. Uh, my glasses won't get lost. I pull it out, put it yeah. in the side. Nice. Perfect. Space. Yes. I have a third one. <laughs> yeah, please. So please. This my sister gave to me as a present like four years ago. Uh -huh. I love sunflowers. And I saw it and I said, I got to carry that with me. I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but I'm going to name my van uh, Sunflower Gypsy. Aww. So this is my theme. And this morning I just carry my oatmeal and my coffee here. And it's like, Yes, perfect. <laughs> That's great. Yeah. Well, thank you, Isabella. Do we have one here? I'm going to do this, and I've seen this all. Everybody probably familiar with it, but I, this is my go-to. <laughs> and your name? My name is Janet, and I actually saw this on um, YouTube. It was a way you could take a shower and still carry at least two gallons of water with you extra. And it, all it is, it's a $14 um, bug sprayer from um, Lowe's. And you buy the fittings to actually fit into the bottom of it and take a regular garden hose um, sprayer and put it on the end. Once you have water in it, you can, if I can get it go, you pull it up and you pump it down. It puts pressure in it and you have a complete shower that comes out full speed. Yes. You, um... If you want more pressure, you just add it again, yeah. and it just it keep on pumping. Yeah. And I like it because I have had the U, um, USB shower mm -hmm. um, that you can actually plug in and use it, but it was wasting so much water. Mm -hmm. This way, you have you control how much water comes yes. out, mm -hmm. and you cut it off yourself. You go sell this, set it to same way you do when you're gardening. If you want the shower experience or you want the jet so it can beat you, it yeah. would do it. <laughs> yeah, like a massage. <laughs> yes. And you can sit those in the sun. Probably you've all seen that. But if and you sit them in the sun, it warms them up. And you yes. know that. And if you paint the, um, this container black, it draws the heat. Well, um, a lot of us have little dogs. And when you have to keep them in a the car where you go run in real quick to a store, you know how they want to stand on your the uh, the door mm -hmm. and a lot of times they unlock it and they put the, throw the window down and things like that this is made by WeatherTech, and it's got little things back here that slides between the glass and the uh, the door <laughs> and it keeps it covers the inside the door where their little paws can't yeah, unlock the car the or mm -hmm. or put the window down or Ooh. anything like that oh, <laughs> it keeps all their yes. paws on here and it is uh cleanable I'm like, yes. I want one. one. Has great yeah. It comes with two, one for each door. It's even got a little dog face. So it is made for dogs by WeatherTech. 